this time i want to apologies and please forgive me cause my footage is not that clear but still i want to share this cause i don't have another footage and at the time i didn't get that how it working and my focus is losing the camera camera focus is losing so i'm very very sorry but still uh, you can see some of the things maybe it's not that clear but it's very important that you should know how you create your signatures for these series so i'm again saying sorry for that and i'll try to make sure that it will not happen again and so i have like lots and lots of watercolor paper i use different different kind of techniques on them so i'll show you some of them i created by spritzing the shimmer spray some of them i created um by adding the colors as well as the inks watercolor inks this is you kind of see it's a shiny and then i cut out them sometimes i do the practice i don't like that practice like this paper i don't like so maybe i have this i i made this kind of stuff uh, why i make i don't know but this is not a watercolor this one is the gouache yeah then i do some loose color flower practice this is my one of the sheet which i didn't complete but i want to complete and make it like the trees something like that this is the another paper so you may have these papers which you do half done or you want to add them or you didn't so i do a lot of time before i do this kind of practice and i have this paper and i didn't complete them i just do the loose color things so i grab all that stuff with me uh some of these are watercolor papers i emboss them uh with the flower stamp i cut them and then i have some of the other paper where i try my shimmery colors and this kind of stuff so i have lots of these stuff uh, which is not in the same size and then i go ahead and do some of these uh, free uh, printables and they are from art scavenger so the art scavenger.com you will get a uh, lots and lots of free printables you can print out them i want to give them a credit cuz um like i don't have these kind of stuff with me but yeah look these are some things so um why i print out them in my art journal why i want to add this brown in this i can't do a little bit i love the vintage kind of look with the brown kind of look in it so i didn't make the whole pages yet but i will show you couple of pages i didn't make a signature yet to put them in the closure so this is kind of page i just tear apart first i cut it then i thought tear apart is a good thing then i see you some of the this this paper is like i make it with the bubble wrap for the kind of a mixed media and on this side i can get inspired with this maybe the color maybe the shape or maybe i want to copy that flower for my practice here also so sometimes i have the already my background ready sometimes i have like this so why i am asking this i am changing this paper to this so i want some of the backgrounds white some of the backgrounds like more of the just sniff up this more of the colorful thing and these i i will use for the signatures for the binding here so basically my this one is a kind of between 8 and 1/2 and 9 always so watercolor paper is longer than that so and broader than that so 9 by 12 watercolor paper but then i cut down some of it like a 1 inch from this side and this side i will decide i want to cut it or i want to fold it or what i want to do but this is the kind of stuff um i want to do now here you can see i really like that one i want to create something like this here maybe something else so i have some blank papers as well as some you know colored paper so what is the basic idea on the both the side of watercolor paper one is little bit like rougher having little bit tooth and another is a little bit um shorter so other idea of making signature is i just see this two and now what i can do i can just um, add these but i don't want to add these by stitching them you can use the washi tape here like this so you can turn them inside out and you maybe get inspired for this for this colors or you can add um 
kind of more things to it so it totally depend how you want i want to show you that now for this one i add these butterflies now these butterflies are in the black one here my paper is kind of uh, pretty colorful or something so maybe i'll draw with the line of those butterflies maybe i do something else i don't know then i put back of this paper like this and i fold it basically it's a big sheet like this and then i fold it all of these um, papers i created myself i use the artisa as well as the cancer watercolor and then i see one of these fabric swatch here and uh, <clears throat> maybe i'll try some rub on or something like that here i don't know then i add some of these here so these brown uh, things i can also use that maybe i'll do just a line drawing or doodling on it and this is the another stuff which is the part now here you see this paper is having that um, uh, i took some kind of water swatches away before i have this paper and this paper together so i just um, cut them apart you can tear them to get a more organic and natural look i do all the stitching here off camera and then i fold it so now for folding this is what you can get inspired from this colors or you do something like that on this side also so this is the kind of another signature i made it here this is i want to do the negative painting uh, negative watercolor but i didn't do it yet so this is a kind of page so all these pages will go inside this so for these ones like these ones this is one like eight so i go ahead and cut them apart like this one is seven and a half or a little bit more than seven and a half um and then what i did is i just fold them in a half so that i can uh, sew my pages here like this so if i want to sew this page i will see that what i like in this so i gonna put that here where i want to sew it i go i will go ahead and add little washi tape or some kind of tape here i'll choose my stitch here and then uh, this is a kind of um thing like um, I want to add these small things to them. Maybe this flower, maybe this fruit, maybe this mushrooms. Maybe I, I can add mushrooms also. And then um, after, you know, I will just, I'll show you. So I will just tear apart this thing. You can cut them also. You can tear apart them. Um, if you want to use your scale like this. To cutting them you can do that also you can crumble this <laughs> to get a more texture out of it and um, then what i will do is i will then flat it up again and maybe i'll grab my um, small cubes of ink here and i just don't like that white thing so i will add more texture to it and i just use all this stuff on the printer paper and then while sewing it i can decide that okay i want to sew it here or i can sew it with this uh, thing also so maybe i can fold it like in a half or i can turn it and fold it on this side so i have the little bit page on this side also maybe i'll add something on this side also so i have a little bit on every page which i want to do it like i love like kind of lotus or something like that or red flowers so i will go ahead and um add that in this some of the pages i didn't add something like this so maybe i'll do collaging on it or maybe i'll um watercolor my loose flowers and uh, snip it out with the scissors just like that and i will add that another thing i want to add this is the small pocket i just created and i'll show you how i create it and then i just use the rub-ons and then i little bit of stickers and i put all my rub-ons here so i made just kind of a pocket you can create your pocket with the fabrics also and then i will put this pocket maybe on the last uh, page here I can add this here and I can put this pocket on the last one here. I can sew around or I can just keep it like this. So I can add another pocket on the back side. 
um, like I just want to give you different different kind of ideas what you can um, do out of these so I already show you my paper collection that these are the papers I want to use then some of the papers you might have like this this is the way before back I started something and I want to practice something and then I don't like it so I didn't do it so now it's halfway done so it's having some kind of background don't throw it you can add in your art journal and then you can paint it or do it or you can collage it so for everybody uh, things are different I like to more kind of paint and draw kind of stuff and create something new uh, some of them you might be have love to do stamping and coloring so um, don't buy stuff whatever stamps you have just add them like I do for that um, thing which I showed you before like this maybe you want to practice some um, these kind of transparent things so you can add those and you just put these inside your journal and you can add them so i'll make lots of pages and then we will work on the spine and which kind of spine um we want so there are lots of options for spines also i can make it with the cloth and i can put it there as i'm putting these um i want to put these together maybe some of these together and then i can put it that uh, for um, other people this might be a big general like eight by nine um this is not their style so what they can do they can uh, create a small journal but you can follow the same idea and you can change the size accordingly what you are comfortable with which size you are comfortable with uh, doing uh, the stuff just make sure that it is not that small too small don't go uh, lesser than 6 by 6 cause then um, you don't have to room for adding these or something like that so at least make a six by six so that you can add all your stuff add your stitching um you know use your scraps you can cut down this and stick there and it's a kind of stuff collect what you have see what you have or you can just create a stamping journal you can just create a uh, squashes like you can do all the things together so ideas are endless So I have this small uh, copy this is from Bristro and where um, I do my Gond art practice so Gond art is a kind of Indian art where you do the mark making so this is the Indian kind of mark making you will do on the that side so what I did is whatever my favorite colors I put down those then you said oh uh, you didn't put down the names you didn't put down the name so um, this time I'm just doing the practicing and I know this is the artisa set which I have with me so I just you know you can see so you can do these kind of pages in this journal so you can do your collaging in this one also so basic idea is you can do whatever you have and main idea is rather than buying the supplies try to use what you have like when I started this journal I want some kind of blue lace here but I ended up using this brown one because I have green one uh, that much and I don't have any blue lace which is kind of matching to it. So I did that. So it's not about uh, looking everything pretty. It's all about how you want to do it. And maybe you have these kind of pages you love to stamp. Like I told you, I love to stamp and then color them in a different, different uh, ways. Sometimes I love to just do the loose water coloring and write something so it's totally depend what you want to do you can just stamp your uh, houses there and you can do that kind of stuff so for particularly this one i just decided that i will go with the flowers and greens and ferns and um you know things like that because i want to draw them i want to try them and um i will use all the different different kind of medium here maybe i'll use the alcohol marker maybe i'll use the watercolors watercolor acrylic colors inks stamping um so that's why i love to use at least 110 gsm uh, 300 gsm that is 101 10 lbs so make sure that you have a nice uh, you know 
paper with you. So rather than using mixed media paper, I used here a watercolor paper. So I'll make more signatures. Um, I give you idea that how I'm doing it, and you can do make along with me. And then we will put all these things together in this album. So now you can add this paper here. I will just show you what I did is I just took any um, this is a masking tape you can use any cello tape or masking tape on it and then you want to add this layer here. So I will just put this to get more straight line. You can add washi tape also so that you can flip flop this. Um, okay, let's try one washi tape or otherwise you can see just use your uh, machine and do the sewing and I'm kind of searching that I have any washi tape which is kind of look good with this so or you can buy the matching stuff for it like I told you before but here my thing is like I am kind of using whatever I have and I am really happy with it. So I will use this one. This is kind of golden and bluish kind of tinted shade here. So for adding washi tape, what you will do is I'll go on this side. So I am kind of putting this here and taking a little bit more on both the side. You can tear apart or use your scissors and then I will just put this here and see that I am kind of matching the things, you can match the things. And as mine is not perfect, it will not going to add perfectly. And then you can till the same washi tape or you can just add more here. So I'm just adding. And then you can have this page. Now, because of the washi tape, you can put your page like this also. Like when I'm swinging, I can't, it's, it is kind of moving from this side. This is, but here you can create a second hinge and do, do stuff like this also. And then this side, we can add some of these to, you know, try out. I really want to try these kind of botanicals and flowers. And I'm kind of uh, always in a search and learning the new things. Um, it's not like that I got bored with whatever I'm doing usually but I really like to add something more in my life <laughs> so I decided to um, you know make something out of it and now for this I will use the purple color so you can go ahead use purple color or something else I'm using this distress inks I have the small cube I'm using dusty concord and then I'm just adding this color I'm so excited when it, it gonna feel I, I do all the stuff it, it is kind of a lifetime memory for me that how this is looking how beautiful this make and you know it's not about the beautiful but it's like like I'll be happy to have it so I decided to add this on the corner and maybe I can fold it on this side so you will get that side idea also you can put a ribbon here or you can you know have the small uh, fabric piece here you can just stitch it that or you can have a ribbon here and you can stitch that I'll show you how I stitch uh, this one 
एंड आई एम पुटिंग ग्रीन कलर इन माई बॉबिन एंड ब्लू कलर इन माई अपर थ्रेड एंड वाई आई डू दैट आई कैन गो हेड विथ डू ओनली ग्रीन ऑल्सो बट आई जस्ट डिड दैट जस्ट बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट इट दैट वे सो हियर यू कैन गो हेड एंड डू योर जिग्जैक्ट स्टिचिंग और आई लाइक दिस लीफी लीफ काइंड ऑफ सैपल इज गोइंग अप आई कैंड काइंड ऑफ लाइकिंग दैट सो आई यूज दैट आई यूज ब्रदर लिमिटेड एडिशन आई थिंक प्रोजेक्ट रन वे पी सी फोर ट्वेंटी सो आई हैव अनादर मशीन एंड इट्स नॉट वर्किंग इट्स ब्रोक डाउन सो दैट्स वाई आई एम यूजिंग दिस वन नाउ आई शोड यू हियर बोथ द वेज लाइक इफ यू डोंट हैव योर सुइंग मशीन स्टिल यू कैन डू द प्रोजेक्ट एंड इफ यू हैव इट देन यूज इट and you utilized it more way so i'm just you can put these threads on if you want i don't want sometimes i want so it's totally depend upon your taste how you like another thing here is you can add your this by using just a washi tape you don't have to have a sewing machine like me if you have go ahead and use it if you don't have still uh, you have the options to you know uh, do this kind of stuff So it will go like this and this. If you want to write something nice about something kind of hidden journaling or special journaling, you can write down this. Or what you are feeling about your art, you can do that also. And here I want to create something kind of green. So yeah, so this is we are done with this one. And you know, um, it's not like that you are done with this one or you are want to. You can add and remove um, like things from them. Maybe not remove, but you can add the things on them. like for the this one i want to put this thing inside so i can put it here also and i'll show you like you can do it on corner or you can do it here also so what i'll do i'll just add a small line here and then first of all i choose the washi tape again i'll go ahead with a little bit broader one like this one um why because that way you will get an idea of holding them like if you have a really broad one like this you can use that also i'm not going to use just because of the things on it i can say the prints on it but if you have kind of um, botanical prints you can go ahead that i will show you another trick that you can use these kind of stuff also you don't have to have fancy washi tapes you can go ahead and you can have something like this that will also solve your purpose like this one now which side i want okay so if i want this on this side what will i do i will just align that pencil mark here and then i will just press it down okay and then you can have this something like that so you can flip flop this you can add couple of here but if you don't want you can so you don't have to stick with your washi tape you can use some some things like this also then i have this one so I want to add this one here. I'll just remove this thread, and um, for this one also, we can just add it like this, and then we can put this here, and we can turn this here. So this is a kind of another. we of adding uh, something more on your signatures so this is one two now on this also like here now on this we didn't add any of these uh, stuff right so we can add that 
or maybe we will put this one just like that and we will see what next we can do like I use the loose watercolor flowers like these this is from another class I want to I'm making some classes there and you can put something like this here and then you can add more things maybe some doodling maybe some drawing or maybe you are inspiring at that moment with something like maybe the urban sketching or something like that but um, you can do this also or you can add some flowers like this here flowers are there so you can add some flowers here and then you can have this kind of flip through and you can see through it and you can add more stuff on it which is kind of maybe matching or not matching or you can just do a writing on it you can do different kind of handwriting uh, things here so i gonna put that just like that way or you can do something like this so i will put um this one just the plain one and if this one we already did we have this signature this i showed you you can add more stuff here and this is the other now if you want to add uh, more so i already told you that i do eight and a half and this one is two and a half tentatively so i'm not measuring everything every time for doing this so i can again stitch this one if I want to add this pocket in between, I can add this pocket here on, on this side or I can add more stuff. I will show you. I created this envelope, right? So we can add this envelope also here. Like we can create this one if you don't want to add that envelope. You can create a normal envelope. I created this one, but you can just go ahead and add the ready-made one. Like um, any envelope will do. Like this one, you can add this one here. If you have a beautiful paper bag, this came in one of my packages. Oh, it's came from the honeybee. It is such a nice one. You can add this one in your signature, so you can add your stuff inside just like a junk generally but make sure that whatever you're adding um, it should be fit in that spine so do some signatures see how much room you have because we are creating here no measurement right we are creating your own stories here we are writing our own book here so uh, there are no measurements here so just because of that you have to do like things and i'm flipping through all of these all over the place okay so i can add this here and if you want you can you know just tear apart some of these just like that you can then put them inside also you can put some small washi tapes also inside so that you can take along and put there and you know okay i'm not getting inspired what should i do i'll just grab one of these and then i'm gonna put them just with the washi tapes and see how can i draw or maybe the color inspire me so this time i took what i like you can just go ahead and draw some insects also like butterflies honeybees dragonflies like i do in one of my dragonflies i have one dragonflies which i started drawing and then